Today we'll be looking at Article 4 of the Marketing Cloud Connect series. And what we're looking at specifically is the ability for Marketing Cloud Connect to pass back email results from Marketing Cloud into Sales Cloud that you can actually view. Now, specifically what we're looking at is the ability to view the full resolution email. You can tell um, already that Marketing Cloud Connect does allow you to view the email itself. Uh, you can see in the individual email results here that we do have information. The problem is, if we look at the results, sometimes they don't come through. Or you can already tell if you have a long newsletter, or in our case, a very large email that I'll show you here in a second, not all of that is going to present and the individuals using Sales Cloud may not really get very much useful information out of it. So if we have a long email like this one, for instance, where there's a huge photo in here that takes up a lot of space. You have to scroll a while and at the very bottom, it's not very well designed. There's just a very tiny little bit of information at the bottom. You can tell already that this is going to be very hard to see if you have a tiny thumbnail. So instead, what we've allowed you to do here is see the entire email uh, exactly as it was from Marketing Cloud. The next question, of course, is how do we actually do that? How do we get this email? How do we get this image? How do we get this information back from Marketing Cloud into our Sales Cloud? The answer to that, of course, is Apex, as it often is when we're talking about truly custom uh, pieces, and the other component is the Visual Force page. So the actual Visual Force page itself is pretty simple. Um, we will go ahead and preview that here. And what you can see is uh, it's just a couple tags, some output text here, and ultimately it's going to call this um, this other piece of Apex code over here. Uh, there are a couple important things to remember about this. We do want to make sure that this is a standard controller and that all the other pieces of information are lined up correctly that we did want a Visual Force page uh, set up so that it can be input in line, uh, which is what we're doing in the background here so that we can actually see it. And you can see that we're actually inserting just the results of our Apex code into the outputs here. So when we flip over and take a look at our uh, Apex code, it's really pretty simple. Basically what we're doing is just making a REST API call over to the Marketing Cloud API, and we're asking for the email, and all we're grabbing it is the HTML information of the email um, from the email ID that we get passed back from Marketing Cloud Connect. Uh, once we do that, we can parse out some of the information and present the HTML code in that Visual Force page, and we can roll with that. That's essentially all that's happening. Uh, we're just using the things we already get back from Marketing Cloud Connect, and we're leveraging the Marketing Cloud API to download that information and present it usefully to the users. Of course, this whole process of getting that beautiful email presented to you does take a little bit more uh, coding on the backside than we've gone over in our brief video here. If you do need some help getting this implemented so that your users in Sales Cloud can see those full resolution emails and really get the full amount of information that they, they can from Marketing Cloud uh, through Marketing Cloud Connect, please reach out to us. Uh, we'll be happy to help you with that integration and with that implementation.